Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This side Priya Bhatia, and in this particular video, we will talk about that how we can create a decision tree via the concept of entropy. I hope that before watching this video, you already have watched my previous video where I have talked about that how we can create a decision tree via the calculation of Gini impurity or Gini index, right? We can we have seen that you know via the example of whether a person will stay in hostel or not. That how basically we will usually calculate the uh, you can say impurity with respect to every particular node, and whichever node is having a lower Gini value or lower Gini index, that will be considered as the superior node, right? Now in this video we will talk about the similar example, and we will see that how we can evaluate the entropy, what is the range of entropy, and uh, after that, in the upcoming videos, we will talk about the implementation of the same. So let's get started. So now, taking the same example that I already have covered up for the Gini index evaluation, I am using the same thing for the entropy part. I hope you all remember that this is what the table that we will be able to get uh, when we are checking for the class that how many of them are staying in hostel and how many of them are not staying in hostel and the total number of records that we have correspond to that, right? Now, whenever we are talking about entropy, what is the meaning of that? The simple meaning is that here we are talking about something called as randomness. Here we are talking about something called as randomness. That how much randomly data is distributed you know now what we really want is we really want to calculate the information gain via the concept of this entropy what is the meaning of information gain by the way the simple meaning of information gain is the simple meaning of information gain is that what is the entropy before the class i'll let you know how we are evaluating that minus what is the entropy after what is the meaning of that? Let me just give you the example. See, first of all, if I'll ask you, how many total number of yes are there? How many total number of yes records are there? So you, you can clearly see, right? How many total number of yes are there? And how many total number of no are there? So if we'll talk about yes, if we'll talk about yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, right? It means that I will be having 8 number of yes and 6 number of no. So what is the probability? What is the probability of yes and no? So it will be 8 by 14 and it will be 6 by 14. Perfect. It will be 8 by 14 and it, it, it will be 6 by 14 that we have. Right? This is the probability that we have. Now how basically we can evaluate the entropy? The basic way to evaluate the entropy is minus summation of i equals to 1 to n where n indicates the number of classes that we have p of i log of p of i right so if i'll ask you that what is the entropy of a complete class that we have which is yes or no this is the class right uh not class this is the i would say uh target value whether it will be yes or no so let's consider that as a target right let's consider that as a target so here if you will observe the probability of yes will be equals to minus of 8 by 14 8 by 14 log base to 8 by 14 minus of 6 by 14 log base to 6 by 14 now you can try it your home and try to evaluate the answer the answer will come out to be 0.98522. I have already done the calculation, so I am just copying pasting the, the, that particular answer. Okay. Now, this is the entropy of a target value, which is either the person will stay in hostel or not, right? Now, if I ask you, what is the entropy of a complete class? What is the entropy of a complete class? What will be the answer? What will be the answer? So, this is the entropy of a label or the target class that we have. Now, what is the entropy of a class 8? What is the entropy of a class 8? So it will be nothing but is equals to what is the probability of yes? 
it is minus 2 by 3 log of 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 log of 1 by 3 because the probability of class yes in the 8 class is 2 by 3 probability of class 8 no as 1 by 3 so if i'll ask you what is the what is the entropy of class 8 so you will say it will be negative of negative of 2 by 3 log base 2 2 by 3 minus minus 1 by 3 log base 2 1 by 3 similarly if i'll ask you what is the entropy of class 9 so it will be equals to it will be equals to negative of 2 by 3 log base 2 2 by 3 negative of 1 by 3 log base 2 1 by 3 so for class 8 the answer will come out to be uh, 0 0.918 same answer we will be able to get for the entropy of class 9 which is 0 0.918 right similarly we can evaluate what is the entropy for class 10 and for class 11 so if you will observe the entropy for class 10 will be equals to minus 1 by 4 log base 2 1 by 4 minus 3 by 4 log base 2 3 by 4 similarly entropy for class 11 will be will be equals to minus 3 by 4 log base 2 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 log base 2 1 by 4 in both cases the answer will be similar which will be equals to 0 0.811 okay now this is how basically we will be able to calculate the individual entropies of every class i hope this part is clear to everyone right so the simple way to calculate the entropy is i believe everyone will be able to understand I hope everyone remembers how we evaluated the Gini, Gini index, right? Now, the way of entropy is negative of P of i log of P of i, right? Perfect. Now, if I just want to evaluate what is the entropy of a complete class? What is the entropy of a complete class? So, what will be, what will be the answer? What is the entropy for a complete class? For a complete class. So, here if you will observe, here if you will observe, in this class, how many number of records are there with respect to the class number 8? 3, right? So, it will be 3 by 14 into what is the information of gain of class 8? It will be 0 0.918. Similarly, for class 9, it will be again 3 by 14 into 0 0.918. Similarly, it will be 4 number of records are there, 4 by 14 into 0 0.811. Similarly, it will be 4 by 14 into 0 0.811, right? So, what I have done is, I have just evaluated the probability of each class. I will be having class 8, 3 number of records, class 9, again 3 number of records, class 10, 4 number of records, class 11, 4 number of records. If I just calculate what is the complete entropy I will be able to get, the answer will be equals to 0 0.8574. Now, if I will ask you, what is the information gain? of this complete class you will evaluate what is the entropy of a complete class label that we have it will be 0 0.98522 0 0.98522 minus what is the entropy of a class it will be 0 0.8574 0 0.8574 so the answer that we will be able to get is 0 0.1278 this is the information gain of a complete class that we have. I hope it clears your concern, right? So, entropy that we will be evaluated before means what is the target value that you have minus after individual class that you have. So, this is the information gain we will be able to get. It means that this much information my class node will be giving to me. Now, I hope you all remember in the guinea index we have seen that lower the value of a guinea index it means that the lower impurity that node contains but higher the value of the information gain higher the value of the information gain it means better or you can say you can give more pri priority to, to that node higher the value of information gain more priority to that particular node right always remember that so what we will do now we will try to evaluate the information gain for the gender class also how we can do so again we will try to evaluate what is the entropy 
for a male class for a male class so how we can evaluate it will be minus 5 by 8 log of 5 by 8 minus 3 by 8 log of 3 by 8 i hope you know now right we are just evaluating what is the probability of y which is yes what is the probability of no so it will be minus 5 by 8 log of 5 by 8 minus 3 by 8 log of 3 by 8 similarly what is the entropy of female what is the entropy of female it will be minus 3 by 6 log of 3 by 6 minus 3 by 6 log of 3 by 6 so now the answer which will be coming out let me just try to check it out because i already have made the calculations this will be equals to 1 and this will be equals to 0 0.954 0 0.954 now please observe clearly if i ask you what is the information what is the entropy of a complete gender class what is the entropy of this column name gender if i'll ask you this so it will it will be something which is equals to how many number of records are there which belongs to male it will be in total eight right eight number of records are there so it will be eight by 14 multiplied with what is the information what is the entropy of a male class it will be 0 0.954 0 0.954 plus 6 by 14 into the value of 1 so here we will be able to get the final answer as 0.974 so now if i ask you what is the information gain for a complete gender class it will be equals to what is the value we will be able to get 0 0.98522 minus 0 0.974 it will be equals to 0 0.01 this is the answer that we will be able to get with respect to the information gain for the gender class now if you will observe we are getting information gain for a class as 0.12 information gain for a gender class as 0 0.01 so which particular value is having a higher information gain so the answer will come out to be this particular value right this particular value is having a very high information gain as comparable to the gender value so in this way we can say that obviously class will become the parent node and then comes the gender node so even if you remember in the last video we have done the same calculation but via the guinea index and we have find out that the value of the guinea index the lower value of guinea index is at class similar thing we have done now also but now via the entropy now if i will ask you at what point of time my sample is highly impure the case will remain same right Highly impure means that you will be having yes as maybe if suppose you will be having 10 number of records. Half of the records are yes. Half of the records are no. If I ask you what is the probability of yes. So you will say minus 5 by 10. Log base 2 5 by 10. 5 by 10. Minus 5 by 10. Log base 2 5 by 10. It doesn't mean. it. What, what does that mean? If I just calculate the entropy of this. Can you give me the answer? It is nothing but is equals to minus 1 by 2 log base 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 log base 2 1 by 2. If you just evaluate, I believe the answer will come out to be 1. The answer will come out to be 1. It means that at this point of time, my randomness is very high. My sample is highly impure and I will not take that particular sample. Right? In above part, we have evaluated the information gain. Entropy is a randomness. Lower entropy means that lower randomness, better the better that particular column, better that particular feature. High information gain means higher information it will try to deliver to me. I hope this part is clear to everyone, right? If you have any sort of doubt, do let me know in the comment section. And please try to watch the video till the very end. Then only you will be able to get the clear cut concept, which, which I am trying to deliver here. Okay. If I am saying my sample is highly pure, it means all the values are at yes and there is no value at 0. So what will happen here? What is the probability of yes? It will be 10 by 10. So it will be minus 10 by 10 log base 2 10 by 10 minus 0 into obviously log base 2 0. So here you will be able to get the answer as 0. What does that mean? That means is that the sample is highly pure sample. Sample is highly pure sample. 
that's why for that particular sample my entropy value is also zero my entropy value is also zero that's the major reason make sense so what does that indicate the simple indication is that the range of entropy will lie from zero to one now you remember right you remember the graph in the last video we have talked about this is suppose zero this is suppose one so if you will observe here if you will observe here that my always remember entropy value will lie from 0 to 1 but if i'll ask you the guinea value suppose this is 0 0.5 suppose this second graph indicates the value of 0 0.5 so what will happen it will be 0 to 0 0.5 this is the guinea value this is the guinea index and this above one is the entropy value entropy value so here if you will observe please try to listen this statement very carefully it can be asked in interview as well what is the difference between guinea and entropy so the way we are evaluating the values is also different if you remember when we were talking about the value of guinea what was the way to evaluate that in guinea what we are doing one minus summation of pi square where i indicates the number of classes that we have how entropy we are evalu 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 evaluating it will be minus summation of p of i log of p of i where again the value of i indicates from 1 to n the number of classes that we have accordingly the range will also vary in guinea index the range will be from 0 to 0 0.5 in entropy it will be from 0 to 1 right so this is how basically the complete structure of entropy will be done this is how basically the complete structure of entropy will be there right i hope it is clear to everyone so in the previous video we have talked about guinea index in this video we have talked about the calculation of the entropy internally and how basically these parameters will help me to choose the nodes uh, that we have right what is the parent node what is the root node what is the next node that's how why are the calculations of entropy and guinea we can evaluate now at what point of time which particular parameter is uh, we can choose that's something which we call as hyperparameter optimization and to optimize any hyperparameter we have two ways mainly grid search cv and randomized search cv i'll talk about this in a separate video but yeah in the upcoming video we will talk about the implementation of whatever things we have discussed so far so that the logical or the mathematical aspect as well as the practical aspect is pretty much clear to everyone i hope that now you will be able to get an idea that how any decision tree is created internally via the guinea index and via the entropy with this let's end today's video i hope you find today's video insightful now you will be able to understand that how we can create a decision tree via guinea index and then how we can create a decision tree via the entropy concept with this let's end today's video i hope that you find the today's video insightful if you do please hit like button share this video with everyone and i'll see you all very soon in the next upcoming videos bye bye take care